Hi crafters, welcome back and thanks for joining me today. This is Jana with Purple Girl Crafts. Today we are going to make another rotating card. This is the rotating circle card. As you can see when you open it up, the lion's body rotates. His head stays in place. This card requires, the only die cut is for the circle in the center of the main. This is an A2 size card, so it's a little bit smaller than the cards I normally make. Centimeters will be in the top left hand corner, inches will be in the center at the bottom. So let's get started. The first thing we will need is our scoreboard. And our first piece is going to be cut at 8.5 by 5.5. On the 8.5 inch side, we are going to score this at 4 and a quarter. Next, we will need three pieces. This is all the same paper. These are going to be cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter. Then we will need one piece, and this is cut at two and a quarter by four. I'm going to turn this back on the two and a quarter inch side. I'm going to score this at three quarters and one and a half. Then I'm going to turn it back on the four inch side. I'm going to score this at one half, one, one and a half, and three and a half. So I know this is hard to see. So I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm just going to put excess where I want to cut away. So as you can see, I did a big X. We're going to cut off that one extra arm that we don't need. And then we're going to cut halfway through on those two sides. So I'm going to pop up just an image. So the gray areas are what you're going to cut away when you're done. Now you can cut this in any order. You don't have to follow what I'm cutting. You just want to make sure that you're left with just the white areas as the diagram shows. And this I colored with a colored um, marker so that it would match the lion's mane. Okay, so we'll just finish this off. Just cut that one last piece. And this is what you should end up with. Now I'm going to take those two sides, the two arms, the longer arms. I'm just going to fold those in and crease those. Then I'm going to turn this on its side and we're going to do those diagonal score marks. So we're going to go from the first score line to the third. And then I'm going to rotate it and do the same thing. I'm just going to do one diagonal mark. Let me grab my pencil. So I went from there to there and then there to there. Then you want to fold in those two ends of it, so both sides. So just fold those and crease those out. And then you also want to do the diagonal. So you want to open this, fold it on one of the diagonals, crease it out, and then turn it the other way and crease out that other diagonal. And then when you turn, I'm going to turn this over. You just want to squeeze in those two sides. And then you'll have that little triangle point on each end. Just like that. And then go ahead and crease that out. So when I lay this down, let me just get this out of the way. So I hold that. You can see the arm will move as the card is opened. Okay, so we're done with our scoreboards. So we'll move that out of the way. We're going to go ahead and we're going to glue the mat down to the card. We're going to put one on the front and two in the center. You could use your um, double sided tape if you wanted. You could use a tape um, runner if you wanted. I just like to use the double or the quick drying glue because it just it grabs the card really nicely and it doesn't um, buckle on you either. So I'm going to flip this card over and then I'm going to do the next two sides. Okay, so those look pretty good on there. And then 
I'll just turn this over and take my bone folder and again just push that glue out. Then you want to fold this in half and then crease out that fold. And this will be the main piece for the card. So next we're going to work on the mechanism. So this piece, we're going to take those two side pieces, we're going to put glue on those. And those are just those two longer arms and that's to just help support the mechanism and just give it a little bit extra strength um, on the arm. So when you put this down, you're going to put it so that it's in the middle of the card. Now you can measure this or you can eyeball it. It's about two and a quarter inches from the ends. Or you can add, you can make it lower, higher. You just want to make sure that when your piece inside, it has room to turn. So I'm just going to put glue on that one flap and then just close the card. Oops, just realized that I glued it on the wrong side. So let me turn the card over. So make sure that the front of your card, let me just get rid of some of this glue. Make sure that the colored paper is on the top. So we'll glue this back down. So again, I'm just I'm going to move mine up a little bit. Put glue on just that last tab. And then go ahead and close that down. Now again, you want to close this so that it's on itself and so that there's a point. And for this, I am using a circle, just a smaller circle punch. You want it just to make sure that it clears the, the lever. So it's about one and an eighth inch diameter. I'm going to put this upside down. So you just want to put your piece that's going to spin through that arm before you glue anything down. As you can see, the arm is, is kind of short. So instead of wasting extra paper, I'm just going to take one of the arms that I had cut off, just one of those extra pieces, and we're just going to glue that to extend the arm. And I know I'm out of camera shot here. I'm so sorry. Let me move this up. So I'm just putting glue on that tab, and I'm just going to put a piece right on top of it. So now when I put this back down, so I'm going to fold those two points in. And then when I glue this down, as you can see, now it's just going to be a little bit long, but it'll have room to hold on to that piece so that it does spin. So you want to line this up to make sure that it stays clear of the circle so it will spin freely. If it catches on that little arm, it will not spin. And once you have it lined up where you want it, we're going to glue that arm down to that circle. Mine is just a little bit too long. So before I glue it, I'm actually just going to take and cut just a little bit of that off. I just made it too long. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on that back side. And then again, just fold it back down on itself and then secure it down. The other two rotating cards I have, I went a little bit slower on this piece. So if you wanted to watch those, you can see how to put the um, mechanism in place. So I'm making sure there's no extra glue. Now we're going to take glue and we're going to glue that last flap. So just put glue on the last flap and then just close it on itself. And just give it a minute to dry. So as you can see, now it will spin freely. And we're going to put glue just on that top triangle. Again, I'm going to pop up just a little image so where you see the red up in the corner, that's where you're going to put the glue. And I'm just going to secure him down and make sure he's right in the center of all that. Yep, he looks good right there. Oops, he just moved a little bit. So I need to wait for him to dry before I open and close it. Then I have his legs. Now when you glue these down, you want to make sure that he's got room to spin because the legs are going to go underneath the mechanism when the card is closed. 
So I'm going to put mine up just a little bit higher so that I know that he can clear the arm. And again, you could do this with any kind of animal that you can do in part. I think it would be so cute. So as you can see, he's barely making it through there. His legs are just barely making it underneath that arm. Yeah, I think those will be good just right there. Let me see if I can show you. You can see how close it is. So when you close this, you can see he's barely making it through. So if you wanted, if you, yours is getting cut, just go ahead and push him up just a little bit higher. Okay, then for the front, I have a thinking of you. I'm just trying to decide where I want to put it. You know, you can decorate this any way that you wanted. So I'm going to put the thinking of you on the front of the card. So then I also cut some floral leaves out. These are just from a die cut that I had. You can use any kind of decorations that you wanted though. I will put um, where I purchased these in the body of the YouTube post that I'm doing. And I'm just putting just a little bit of glue on here, just enough to hold it down. And then we'll do the other one on the other side. Just like that, and we'll put it just so it's just underneath the thinking of you sign. So we'll glue that one down. And then we'll put the thinking of you at the bottom. I kind of like the leaf on there, so okay, so that's where we'll put it. Let me use the other glue for this, just so I have room to move it around. I'll put it again underneath that one little leaf, just at the bottom. And then I've got some jewels. Uh, let me just find a good one. These are the photo cases that I keep all my little gems in. Just keeps them convenient and in one place. Oops, that one got away. So I'm just going to put a couple of these pearls just on the card. I glue that back down. A couple of them I didn't get. I make sure they don't come off. And then we'll put one of the bigger ones just up on top there. And that is it. That is the card that we made today. I want to thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And until next time, happy crafting and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.